Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the SU-25 Frog for the non-T version and we're looking at air-to-ground guided missiles. They come in three types. First, the KH-25ML, reporting name AS-10 Karen. What we've got here is a semi-active laser guided weapon. We'll fire the laser designator from the front of our aircraft. It has a pretty decent warhead of 90 kilos and an effective range of 2 to 10 kilometers. Next, the KH-29L, reporting name AS-14 Kedge, an absolute mammoth of a missile. We have semi-active laser guided again with an enormous warhead of 317 kilos, which is a bigger warhead than a Mark 83, with an effective launch range of 8 to 10 kilometers. And we have the S-25L. This is essentially an S-25 rocket adapted to be laser guided otherwise same as the s25 so we've got the two inner pylons five and six as the kh 29 l's that's the only pylons they can go on due to their weight we can have the kh 25's pylons four three seven and eight and the s 25 l's we can have on pylons two to nine and i've got them currently on pylons three and eight note that to rearm this aircraft you have to have the canopy open the engines off and spooled down as for today's controls, we can fire the weapon with a push and hold of weapon fire to cycle our weapon stations. We have weapon change. To go to air to ground mode, we have that there. To turn our laser designator on and off, we have that there. To raise or lower our aiming glass, we have that there and that there. To lock a ground target, we have that there. To unlock that there. To move our target designator across, designator up, down, left and right. In the air now, air to ground mode we can cycle between stations so that's our s25s that is our kh25s and that's our 29s let's go with the uh, 29s the big berthers first of all we're going to ingress on target and due to the nature of these weapons then being guided it doesn't really matter your ingress whether it's level whether it's diving whether it's steep whether it's slow whether it's fast we'd usually suggest 500 700 kilometers an hour in a 10 to 20 degrees dive from at least 2,000 meters if you can, but it's not imperative. In we go, let's locate a target, trim to suit. Okay, I think we'll pause there. So if we look at our symbology, we have our aiming cross here with our reticle dot in the middle. Our roll indicator here showing that we are currently just about wings level. That would be 30 degrees roll right, 60 right and 90 degrees right. It is key that we do this entire operation with wings level. We've got it paused here, but you can do this perfectly well on the fly. So what we're going to do is turn our laser designator on. When it's on, you can see that we have a green light. And I pause it because we have a burnout time of about 60 seconds. So we do have to expedite. We then have the range scale. So the range, which is a slant range from us to where this reticle pipper is intercepting the ground. Zero there, and it spans out to there, which is our current range. Note the thicker section of the range scale here. That is the minimum marker for the current weapon we've got selected. The maximum marker happens to be further out here. So uh, we are currently within the maximum range and over the minimum range of the currently selected weapon. We're now going to use our target designator keys to move onto a target. And let's just zoom in so we get it nice and accurate. Let's get that guy there then we're going to press target lock target is now locked essentially we're ready to fire we know that we are locked and within the range constraints because we've got this light here showing that says that we are in parameters to fire if this red light showed here it would mean that we are within the minimum range to fire and we would have to pull away if i unpause note that even once it's locked we can make a small adjustments fine adjustments left right up and down to get it absolutely perfect on the target that we want and even when the missile is traveling and in transit we can fine-tune this cursor and that will change where the missile will home so it's common to use the target designator to get roughly in the area lock on fire the weapon and use fine controls as the missile is in transit to hit exactly where we want to hit so we're locked on we're in range we fine calibrated all we've got to do is press and hold the trigger to fire now so let's unpause fully it's all away big thumping case 29 we need to ensure that we stay at least roughly facing towards the target so that our laser is going to be able to track the target and that is one thumping great 300 kilo warhead we're going to go turn our laser off because it will burn out otherwise next we're going to go to our kh 25s so laser designator on 
Designate target. Lock. Fine tune it. Check orange light where we're good to fire. In fact, we're going to have to pause it. Um, so we can see that we are in range to fire within the maximum range outside of the minimum range. We've got our orange light that's showing that we're ready to fire and we can now fire this weapon. And we can fire another one on the same target if we like. They will both track the same laser designation. Those missiles look so cool. Boom! <laughs> Just speaking about ripples, a laser designated weapon like this is not designed to be fired multiple missiles in one run like this, assuming you want them on separate targets, but you can do a little trick. What you can do is send two or more missiles out, and every time the previous one impacts, you can then move the cursor a little bit to the next target, and the next one will track that, and then move the cursor again. It is, however, very difficult, as you'll see, if you try and do it. To be honest, I suggest sticking just a one missile, one pass. And there's nothing else to learn about the S25, but let's go and use it anyway. Which one's which? Uh, that is the S25, I believe. Let's go around and use it. Let's roll in for the 25 L's. Note that these are essentially low range guided rockets rather than medium range guided missiles. So they will have a very low range. Laser designator on. Search for target. Yeah. Let's get wings level. Designate. Just as required. I think that is about him there. Check for our light and fire. two out. I'm going to see if I can uh, uh, designate another guy. <laughs> I kind of bent the, the second one around to the other guy, which is pretty cool. Anyway, that's it with laser-guided missiles with the SU-25 non-T Frogfoot. They are extremely good fun. I hope that was useful and see you later.